Hi everyone, it's Sherry Carroll for SimonSaysStamp.com and I have a collage card that I've created using some scraps that I had on my table. So I thought it would be fun to challenge myself and pull things together that I thought would go well for a card. And I'm really in my element when it comes to these colors so it's really easy for me to design this way. So I'll start off with one piece that I have die cut from the Glimmer paper from Simon Says Stamp. And this is a Glimmer Diamond and I've used the painted Believe die and just cut that out. Then I added a piece of vellum to the back and a little clip with a piece of twine on it. So I thought that would be a fun element. Then I had some scrap of the Tim Holtz Yuletide cardstock. I haven't cut these up. These are just how they were. I also have a piece of linen also from Tim Holtz, a Simon Says Stamp tag, and then I die cut one of the trees, and these are from the Woodland Trees, also from Tim Holtz. And they have a, a thin one and a little bit fatter one, and these are really delicate. So I cut that from olive cardstock, and I thought that went well with those papers. I'm also going to be stamping my little message that says, so it'll say, Believe in the Magic of Christmas when I'm all done. So I have all my pieces. I'm going to get started on gluing down my first piece of paper and for that I'll be using my collage glue stick from Ranger and I'm going to go ahead and just add it right onto my card that I have. And this is a piece of Desert Storm cardstock that I have cut and scored so it's a top folding card. So once I have my panel in place I'll go ahead and line that up to the top and I can press that down and then when I'm ready I can go ahead and flip it over to the back side and trim down the edges with my scissors. The Tim Holtz linen has an adhesive back and so I'm just going to peel that off. And It's really funny I haven't cut this uh, but it's going to fit pretty well. I'll have to trim off a little bit from the bottom. And I do want to fray the edges a little bit as I go and kind of add some wrinkles. So I'll go ahead and press that down and then using my Tim Holtz shears, I'm going to go ahead and cut that off. It's pretty sticky so you want to make sure you have some Teflon scissors. Next I'm adding some glue to the back of my woodland tree and I'm going to go ahead and place this right on top of that linen. So now I'm really starting to build up texture on texture so that tree really shows through with that linen. And the next piece I'll be adding is this strip of the Yuletide paper. And right now I'm kind of dry fitting, figuring out how I want things to sit if I want that tag under that stripe paper or over. So this is the layout that I'm going to go with. So the next thing I want to do is I'll just add some glue to the back of that strip and making sure I have it kind of measured up so that it goes from side to side and I have the glue right in place. So now I can just go ahead and press that down and then trim off the excess. Since I know I want the tag to go next, I'm going to go ahead and add some glue to the back of that. And now I can just go ahead and put that in place onto the card. I have to tell you, I chose the glue because that was also sitting on my desk. Otherwise, I'd probably use my tape runner. So now I'm starting to get my design going on. And I've decided to add this little strip. And I thought it would look really good if it had some tiny attacher staples on it. So that's pretty easy to put it down. I haven't put any adhesive on it first. So I'm just going to put a couple staples in that. And next, I have my Believe piece and I've added some adhesive to that clip at the top and I'm just pulling off the backing right now and then I've added a couple of cut up pieces of foam tape to the bottom of this so it'll sit somewhat level. So now I can go ahead and put that in place. I'm also adding a little bit of glue right onto that knot and I'll go ahead and press that down so that that stays upright when the card is turned around. I've stamped the rest of my greeting onto some white cardstock so that says in the magic of Christmas and I'm just cutting these up into strips so it was all one greeting and almost a phrase so I want to make little message strips so I'm just using my scissors and cutting close to the message. Also I have grabbed my blending tool and it had some brown ink on it so I'm going to go ahead and ink those up and then decide on the placement of these and once I've chosen where I want them to go, I can go ahead and add some glue to the back and then go ahead and stick those down onto the card. I did get into my stash and I grabbed some of the Yuletide Brad fasteners. So just now I just added a hole into my card and I can go ahead and push that Brad in. 
Also, I grabbed my mirrored stars because no tree is complete without a star. So I thought I'd add a couple around on the card. It gives it a little bit of shine and another added texture to this whole look. So I'm just putting these down with my regular glue. So I've got two at the top, and then I can finish this up by adding another one down at the bottom. So that gives me a really nice balance. This card took me about 17 minutes in total, and I think it really came out great, and it was a super fun challenge for me to do, just by adding things together that I really like and things that I'm very inspired by. So I hope I've given you some inspiration on using some of your scraps and pulling things together to make your holiday cards. And as always, thanks so much for watching.